Delhi. The capital city of India is a perfect example of the struggle to balance urbanization and conservation. Over the past 20 years, Delhi, notorious for being one of the most polluted cities in the world, has lost half its forest cover to construction. Authorities often allow builders the convenience of deforestation, which is only supposed to be used as a last resort. However, the widespread felling of trees is only one reason for diminishing green cover in the heart of India. Barbed wires, telephone cables and concrete bases are common choking hazards for the wild trees and shrubs sprouting along Delhi's pavements and streets. However, only few residents have taken heed of the tragedy of constricted branches and suffocated roots in a city that's already struggling to breathe. Padmavati Dwedi, a tree guardian of sorts, has made it her prerogative to de-choke trees in the nation's capital. For almost 14 years, she's been working to bring attention to the growing chasm between humans and the natural, unmanicured world. People have lost connect with the wild trees, uh, which they uh, title them inferior. You know, there's an inferior uh, looking down upon the local parlance, the jungle pode. So they call it jungle pode, and that's because we no longer depend on them for sat for our needs. You know, there's a huge disconnect and the distance between them and us because all our needs are being met, met by uh, products that come off the shelf. There is a fashion trend that goes. Ficus Benjini me ka trend chalti hai ek paanch saal Phir chalta hai Caliandra ka Phir chalta hai Royal Palm Phir Champa Fra I know and none of those are native to India One of the consequences of the public's apathy towards native plants is the introduction of foreign species Non-native trees like Caliandra and Royal Palm may be aesthetically pleasing but disrupt local ecological processes and have a disastrous domino effect on the ecosystem. Natives have evolved over millions of years, okay? So they have their own intelligence and they form their own web of community. It's like a web, you know, in, of interrelationships with other flora and fauna. So the ecological services that they offer are not, it's just we have scratched the surface, you know, in, in studying the impact. So the greenwash we are doing with the wrong species, that has to change. Because, you know, we are going to lose close to 1 million species in the next few decades, according to UNEP. Another dire consequence is concretization, which is the process of pouring concrete or tar over the base of a tree during construction activities to smooth over its roots. Concretization prevents the percolation of nutrients and water vital to the tree's survival. It is the silent killer of Delhi's green lungs. When you choke the trees with cement, the roots on top get burnt in the heat, you know. And most of the uh, roots are on the top one meter. So I, I guess it does take a, a huge toll on trees when you choke them because they are not the roots are not aerated, uh, they get burnt under the heat. They cannot in uh, the microorganisms cannot exist in that uh, soil, and uh, they don't get any water. Concretization robs unaware residents of organic air filters and small animals, birds, and microorganisms of their homes. We are uh, taking the measurements of the tree, we are observing the conditions around the health of the tree. We need some kind of expertise to identify the tree. To best protect the city's greenery and improve its air quality, Padmavati has been organizing a unique community-based tree census in residential neighborhoods. In fact, she spearheaded the first ever citizen tree census in Delhi in 2011. The location of tree may be A1, left-hand corner, right-hand corner. 
Kampala, location of the train you should be very accurate. Whoever I wish to train in a certain colony or place, I tell them first to take a rough uh, data on the total number of trees and then they are supposed to do a tree walk so that you get the buy-in of the stakeholders then we ask them to start a whatsapp group and with a date saying that this is the day when we are going to start tree census and i do the first workshop so that includes numbering of the trees and taking the circumference the girth the height the condition of the ground what is happening on the tree you know are they flowering because that's the appreciation completely choked is a Okay, 0 to 2 is B. So this will be B. Yeah. Residents who participate in the census with Padmavati are also able to identify when a tree needs to be de-choked, at which point the municipal corporation of Delhi is contacted to facilitate the breaking of the concrete base. It can take weeks and sometimes even up to 2 years for the city officials to arrive at the site. And when they do finally come, they bring iron rods to break through the concrete. Laborers then work on freeing up a perimeter of 4 to 5 feet around the tree and cover the now naked base with a layer of topsoil. The tree census has also made residents cognizant of ineffective environmental protection laws. Delhi has a policy mandating that 80% of felled trees in an area must be replanted. However, Valery Shiel, an urban ecologist, says there is no consistent evidence to prove that this transplantation policy has been scientifically executed or been successful. We are fundamentally changing the ecology of the city by, you know, with these policies that allow transplantation, that allow compensatory afforestation. Officials in the Public Works Department and Municipal Corporation of Delhi also have the power to bar construction that may alter green zones. But between 2015 and 2018, the Delhi government had not rejected a single request to cut trees. resulting in over 17000 trees being raised there has to be some application of mind in granting permission to fell a tree just because somebody has applied for permission does not mean a tree needs to be felled especially this is especially for neighborhood areas one of the most significant benefits of exercises like the tree census is that they remedy helplessness concerned citizens who may otherwise be discouraged by red tape or overwhelmed at the mammoth task of conservation can see the fruits of their labor through community based intervention they just cut it off at night and they remove all the roots and they cement the whole area so there's no evidence that a tree existed so even if i wanted to go to the authorities i had no evidence the only way to you know uh, stop this was by building a database of trees and once we have a database once we have the trees numbered once we have some photographs you know if something illegal has happened we can approach the authorities but more more than that we can proactively prevent it so far valerie has logged and numbered 5000 trees in delhi she has even trained young students in the art of data collection some of whom make time for tree logging even before school starts early in the morning tree walks have also become galvanizing movements for nature lovers of all ages come in touch gently with a lot of love don't press it this this part They have allowed some to rediscover their childhood love for plants and others to have a renewed relationship with the environment. I go back to the feeling that the trees around us are actually our elders for all the human race and uh, they deserve a lot more respect than we give them. Afforestation is a very very important component of uh, of our future if we want to survive as a race. A rise in environmental consciousness around Delhi has motivated many of the city's residents to kickstart their own independent community-based restoration initiatives. 
Mukesh Soni, a systems analyst at Jawaharlal Nehru University, has spent 101 weeks planting trees with other members of the Divine India Youth Association Delhi chapter. So our next plan is that tree uh, census of our nearby locality. Uh, we will select a, a particular location for the tree census purpose, along with our weekly um, plantation and. Uh, other activities which is spending out with the nature from demanding that architects creatively incorporate wilderness into construction design to holding the government accountable for lax policy implementation valery says ordinary residents have a central role in environmental democracy i think it's wrong to expect just the authorities to keep doing it i think this has to be a collaboration between citizens and the authorities and everybody has to work together uh you know to protect and preserve what we have whether it's you know we talk about climate change these days and it's every citizen's responsibility to take action whatever action they can take to you know sort of nurture our environment and uh i think the authorities need help and i think we need to work in collaboration with each other <laughs>